So there's the Flanders Fields Museum right there. Where are we now? Yep. Yep. Thing was for battles in World War One. Yep, the man gets done that way. I 
Here. The, it's a bread candy machine. Candy machine? It's a bread uh, what do you call it? dispenser, I guess. Yeah. A vending machine. So you can get some Groot Bruin, Clean Bruin. Actually, only 150, that's pretty good. Alright, we're heading back. And we're not even close to being there yet. See you in the morning. Back in the paper. Saving us a good 40 minute walk. Make a decision, grab some bikes, and then we'll see what we do after that. Stallions, and we got a nice lady here to drop uh, late, leave our bags with. So, gotta go to the countryside and get some cash. So, here we are at Flanders Fields. This is a John McCray plaque right here, and cemetery. So, we're gonna take a, take a look around. We have some, look, these look like sandbags right here. This actually is probably the trench built into it. So these are the bunkers that John Cray would have worked in and wrote his Poem to in Flanders Fields. It's got the Canadian flags here. Wow. Pretty crazy, huh? Sandbags along here. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. It does continue on. So we're right here on this map here. Yeah. And then we continue on like that. And then there's the bank of the river. And then I'm guessing that, yeah, on the other side of the river is where the battle would have been going on. Fascinating area. And there's the cache right here in Ward 2. We're gonna hop on the bike and continue on down the trail. Yeah, that's the one he would have been working in. Crazy. 100 years ago. So we're here at this uh, memorial here, this park. 
and there you have kept sec they found sections of the trenches that they've dug up and preserved. So we're gonna do a little tour here. So these, this, I'll show you, we're going to show you up top, but this area goes down a good, what is it, what did you say, 20 feet, 20 meters? No, 11 meters. How many? 11. 11 meters down? <laughs> Under the ground. So you can see this is where someone would have had to step, and they would have been aiming through here downfield. Another little porthole with a step for a little through. You can still see the, uh, uh, the bag parts. There's another entrance down to the tunnels. Just imagine someone coming out with a gun right there. Bayonets. How terrifying would this be? So when you're above the tunnels here, it actually gives you a good uh, idea of what's below. These paths mark where the tunnel goes and you can see the different rooms along here where like some of these are bunk rooms this is all 11 meters underground it's all flooded I think so you can't really go down there this here would have been a bunk room This is the Yorkshire Trench and Dugout. So to give a bit of context, we're now on the other side of the canal from where we were. Right, Alice? Yeah. We went over a bridge. So that, where John McRae was, that was the medical tent on the other side of the canal. So the canal probably was like a good defense. And then they would use the like the train bridges to get over. And then this would have been like one of the lines of defense right here. Very interesting. Okay, so we're here at a monument that uh, to the French divisions that were involved in the first gas attack. Okay. So we're coming to the next town here. Now this isn't actually, we're not actually going into this town, but it's kind of beautiful with the uh, church spire tower. And here we are at the Cannon Memorial, we're right where uh, the gas attacks first happened in Ypres. Or Ypres. Still hell Ypres. Jesus.
so we're here at this beautiful uh, windmill and we're finding a cash. Alice, where is the cash? We couldn't find it at first. Yeah, we're looking all over. Yes, gorgeous weather. I think there's a plane up there. That's like a might be a war plane. Finding caches. This is this is what it's all about, people. So here you have a New Zealand War Memorial, the Battle of Brutzen, signed, Fourth of October, 1917. We're just at this little corner. There's a little like a pub or restaurant I used to be maybe. So we're here at the Tynecott Cemetery, one of the most famous cemeteries of World War I. Queen, uh, the kings and queens of England, Queen Elizabeth II, has visited here several times. This is the visitor's cemetery right here. just beyond these bushes. And uh, if you can hear this murmuring here, there's actually a box here that just is reading names of those who died. So Alice is in the visitor center. There's one of two virtuals we're getting today is located in the cemetery. So we're gonna try and that. name and ages. So as soon as Alice is done, we're gonna head out and try and grab that ritual. So, uh, time pot cemetery is pretty cool. We got the virtual and we got a multi there. And now we're in uh, Passchendaele, I believe. Alice is just in the bank here. She's uh, getting some money because we're low on cash. But uh, yeah, we're gonna stop for some lunch and then we're gonna get another virtual and head home. Or head back to eat a little video. We're uh, in the last cemetery with a virtual, and uh, here with Alice, we had a little bite to eat, so I have something to drink, and now we're going to, uh, uh, this might be my last video for the day, as my phone's almost dead, but I might use Alice's. Alright, we're in the Boots of Newbridge Cemetery. So maybe the copper plate's gone. Here we are doing the virtual. And we're coming across this big ruin. 